Chill, this your boy Shy at the mic. We day jazzy right now. We doing our thing. We juking. We having fun. We got girls over here. We got the dudes over here. We got the drinks over there. We having fun, y'all. We doing our thing. JB, what's up, baby? Right here in my bed, checking you out while you're in the bathroom, girl. So good stepping out the shower thing. I'm looking at the way you're rubbing lotion on your body. Damn, you know you're sexy, girl. Why are you dancing like that? I think you look good when you dance like that. I don't like it. Why you don't like it? They look good. They're expressing themselves. What's the whole point of dancing that way? They can do what they want to. It's a free country. T-shirt looks so damn tight. My triple X on your body, girl. You make it look so right. Girl, I love to see you with my t-shirt on right after, after we just got through hitting it. I love watching the boys feel right. A lot of dances um, represent human nature, and part of human nature is sexual. So if we're going to be in juke in the school, then a student doing a tango or a salsa shouldn't be allowed in the school either because it also has that sexual connotation. For me here, uh, dance is sensual, but it is not vulgar, okay? For me, juking is vulgar, okay? Very um, visceral, okay? Visceral, okay? Um, it's one thing to, um, uh, to intonate and to use nuances to talk about sex. It's another thing to physically do it on the floor to the point of ejaculation, all right? That to me is vulgar, all right? Uh, that to me is repulsive, okay? Because here, I don't think here you have really put sex, as it were, in the appropriate context, okay? That's my repulsion to juking, all right? There's a the way Africans get down are different. It's different than other people, you know? So African Americans in this country, I think if you look at dances like the Lindy Hop, you know, which, which was started in the, I think in the 20s, right? It wasn't that much different. You know, folks were, were dancing really close to each other and making sexual movements. I just left Kenya, and when I got there, they welcomed us with a dance. So at first I had a lot of you know, negative thoughts about juking and when I seen how I linked to my heritage, it gave me a better view on what juking really was. It was a form of expression, not necessarily sexual. I think that um, you know, one of the limits on First Amendment activity, assuming that dancing is a First Amendment activity and the Supreme Court has certainly ruled that, uh, there's still questions about in, uh, obscenity and indecency in the larger population and within the student population you're talking about at schools right within the student population there's an even lower standard called indecency meaning it doesn't have to rise to the level of pornography uh, for it to be uh, limited and yes I think that is very sexually inappropriate behavior that doesn't belong on a high school dance floor. If it's, if it's a high school that has an educational mission. If it's in people's private homes, well, that's up to their mom and daddy to decide. 